Welcome to Apollo Digital Paging Company. Today we are going to be going over uh, our Apollo VP 101 voice pager, one of our most popular selling pagers on the market today. Uh, it's a very rugged, smaller size design pager. Uh, offers four different call tones with two different group tones, two minutes of stored voice, uh, and uses a AA rechargeable battery uh, that can also be swappable with regular standard AA batteries. Today we're going to be going over the programming software, how to get into it, how to make changes, um, how to download the software as well, and just a quick overview, and we'll start it from here. So uh, the first initial setup you want to do is go into your um, Explorer. I use Google Chrome, so you're going to want to go to our website, which is ApolloWireless.com. At the very top, you'll click the Support tab, and we're going to want to go ahead and find the programming software for the VP101. If you see a section right here, it says Programming Software, Voice Pagers, Two-Tone, Serial, and USB Cradle. Go ahead and click that. It'll drop you down to the programming software for our voice pagers. Uh, there's two different programmers for the VP101 unit. You have a narrowband only model, and you have the 101 Pro model. So if you're using narrowband only, you're going to want to use the software version 3.85. But generally, most of you users out there are using the VP101 Pro programming software version 1.07. So right here where it says click this link, it's a .zip folder, which will go ahead and zip it, unzip it. It'll walk you through on uh, where you want to save the file to. Uh, it's etc etc and just install the program you could generally just hit the next button all the way through and it's gonna go into the location that I'm gonna show you so I currently already have it downloaded to my computer so I'm gonna go to the start menu this is where it's gonna save it once you are done installing it go to all programmers you're gonna go underneath gold Apollo folder and you'll see a section in here that says VP 101 Pro Pager Programmer. So go ahead and click on VP101 Pro Programmer. You're going to get this menu on my computer at least um, that it says, Do you want us to go ahead and open it? Just click yes. Here I'll open it up and I'll actually ask for a password. So let me do that again. All programmers, go to Apollo, VP101. Let's open. Let's see, now it's going to ask for a password. I want to enter in password A is in Alpha, C is in Charlie, 5678. And hit OK. From here, very, very easy to actually program. Um, can't really get much wrong here, so I'm going to go over the general areas where people do go wrong. The first thing when you are programming a pager, you're always going to want to read the pager, make sure that it is connecting with your computer, uh, and that it is going to be able to be programmed, that all the connections are correct. So you could use the F3 button on your computer, or the F3 hotkey. Or you can go to the top of your screen where it says pager. You can hit read. Once you read the pager, it will go ahead and um, pull up the current programming specs on your pager. Um, that's when you can start making your changes. Once you already know what's in the pager, you can start making your changes here. So initially, you want to start with frequency. A lot of people make mistakes and they put a decimal in here. You do not want to put any decimals in the frequency. You want to ensure that there is seven digits in the frequency. Um, even though, say for instance, if you're using 152.75, you're going to want to type in 152.7500. That's the real frequency that you're currently using. So uh, you set up the channel spacing. Usually a lot of people just leave this to auto. It'll go ahead and auto pick up. Um, then you want to set your tone. So, like I said, it has four different uh, sets of call tones. Uh, you got your tone A, tone B, uh, and four different ones of them are tone one, tone two, same thing. Um, so you go ahead and you could turn them on at the left, right here, where you hit on, on, on. You could set priorities, priority. Those are priorities. Or if you're not using two different tones and you guys are just using group group, group calls, um, go ahead and turn these on. Put in your tones here and if they are a priority or not. So very easy from there. Um, when you go into the settings tabs you have a few other options that you can play with. Uh, generally most of this you're not even going to play with majority of anything probably but except the save voice section area where you have different uh, areas to record either four seconds four sections of 30 seconds each meaning that it will record uh, your dispatchers messages four of them you have an option for four of them, two of them, or one of them at different message lengths. So you know your dispatcher better than any of us. So uh, if you know that they 
usually do long messages that are over 30 seconds. Go with the two sections or go with the one section. Uh, just to ensure that your, your message is storing uh, within your page or so. Other features in here that you play with enable the narrow band, etc. etc. But generally, you're not going to play with much of this. If you do have any questions on some of these that you want to go over, please give us a call. Um, our number is 1 800 540 5700. You can also visit us online at uh, apollowireless.com. Drop us an email to info at apollowireless.com. Anyway, we're here ready to help you. Um, and we, uh, we look forward to your business and take it from there.